So we meet again, Candris. It has been quite a long time. Jagi? He... he was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Althir. But I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had sent on that attack had perished. You sent us to die in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. I... I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Candorous. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished, and I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. I challenge you, Candorous. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir, in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here, and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the doomed seas of Tatooine. A final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Kendris. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off! Oh, uh, Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? You've got your facts a little backwards. Mission could have come with us if she wanted to. It was her choice to stay behind. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker! <sighs> I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down. But I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you.
This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. <laughs> now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? Doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? You make some sense. I wonder what you know about what might happen here. I mean, I think we should petition for a transfer. The Corporation will survive a fight here, but us frontline guards won't. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. So 
be it. Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. You cannot win. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then I suppose we have little choice. We should proceed with caution, however. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Oh! <laughs> 